Hey everyone! This week's video is about what do we do when our eating disorder is gone. Yes, hooray, right? But then we feel almost like it's sad, we miss it. I don't know why I miss it. Is that weird? So stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Okay, so we've spent all this time recovering, all this energy, we're working and we're still working a little bit when that little voice is like, hey, hey, and you're like, no, I don't think so, right? So we're strong, we're feeling good, been recovering, eating my food, I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to do, I'm only exercising so much, da -da, right? We're feeling really good. But sometimes we think, I kind of miss my eating disorder. I don't know why, I don't want it back, but there's like a void and what do I do? I know a lot of you feel that way. I hear get a lot of questions about it. And to be honest, it's something that happens. So for those of you who are just starting in recovery, this is something just to be aware of, just to take note like, hey, maybe in a few months I should watch this again, you know? Think about it. Our eating disorder served a purpose. That's one of the main reasons I tell people to download my workbook, get started on it, because not every therapist, not every treatment center addresses it like that. And that's something that I really think changes the way that we work on it. And by that, I really mean that we can't just say, get rid of it, it's bad, it's horrible. Why do you have that? Ugh. We can't talk about it that way because it was there for a reason. Let's say we were abused in some way. Well, our eating disorder was our own way of coping with that and almost like protecting us from the emotional pain, right? Let's say our family is full of terrible communicators and we always felt like everything that we really felt wasn't okay. It's not okay to be angry. It's not okay to be sad. It's not okay to feel anything but happy and jolly, right? That's not okay. That's not life, what, right? So then our eating disorder was there because then it helped give us comfort. It's okay, it's normal to feel this way. We're just gonna numb out or we're just gonna eat because that makes us feel so much calmer, right? Whatever that voice said, it served a purpose. It didn't just come out willy-nilly for no reason. So we have to think about that. And that's oftentimes why we kind of miss it because it did serve a purpose. So take some time. If you haven't done that yet or if you haven't downloaded my workbook, I would probably do it. Go to katiemorton.com. I have a tab, free workbook. I would check into that. I know it's hard. A lot of you are like, Katie, oh my gosh, every task is like harder than the one before. Why are you signing me up for this? But I promise that the hard work will pay off. We have to start understanding our eating disorder so that we can properly replace it. So that we're not left with this like void, this uh, you know, that lack of something, like we're missing something. And so what I'd like you to do today, if you haven't downloaded my workbook, you should do it. And then, so we've done that. Now we're going to grab our journals. I know, Mags and some of my other followers, you know, Calorique, you're like, Katie, I hate to journal. Why do you tell me to journal? But do it. Or at least we'll type it for those of you who like to type. We're going to type a little bit about what we like that has nothing to do with our eating disorder. What do I like to do? What do I like to do? Not what somebody else tells me to do, right? We might be good at, hey, I'm good at playing the clarinet, or yes, I used to play the clarinet back in high school, look out. But, so maybe I'm good at that, but I did that because I was supposed to, because my mom thought it was important that I took a class and learned an instrument. I want these to be things that you do on your own free time. Maybe we like to blog, right? I like to write. I spend hours on Tumblr reblogging photos. Maybe I like that kind of stuff. That's okay. I want things that relate to you, just you. Like, I'll give some examples of myself. I love to color. I know that's really weird. And some of you have even told this before because I was kind of helping you out. Coloring's really cathartic to me. Like the feeling of the crayon on the paper just feels good. It makes me feel good. I also love searching for songs. Did any of you get caught in iTunes? I'm like, yes, I do like that because I like that. Yes, and you end up in this like tunnel and it's like four hours later and yes, you have 25 new songs you probably didn't need, but 
I love doing that, right? Because it's, it's new music. I get excited about new music. So what excites you? What do you like? You know, it can be a bunch of different things. But I want you to take some time. I want you to think about it. Because it's those things that we're going to put into that void. And we're going to try to do these things more often. Because I know our eating disorder kind of robbed us of all of those things, right? I love getting together with my girlfriends. And a lot of times we isolate, right? Our eating disorder tells us, say no. They're inviting you out. They're going to make you eat and drink things. You can't do that, right? And we, we, you know, we cut off and we just do our own thing. And I want to go. I won't do anything. But now we can. Ooh. It's almost like we've been kept in this cave, but now they're like opening the door, like, come on out. And we're a little leery, you know, we like, ooh, we pussyfoot our way out. I don't know, right? But this is the time to, to relearn who we are. And maybe the things we used to like to do, we don't like to do anymore. Now we like to do this. So let's work on that. Let's fill that void with those things that make you the wonderful, amazing, powerful you. Because that's really what it's all about, right? So take some time. Check that out. We're going to write down the things that make us us have nothing to do with our eating disorder. Oh, and I almost forgot. Give it a thumbs up. I think it's right here. Like this video so we can share it with everybody else, right? And then also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I never know which way things are. I feel like I'm doing a jig, but you know, you know what to do. So subscribe to my channel. So when I send out another video, you'll know about it and you'll get a little email notification. So I look forward to talking to you all soon. Hi everyone, thanks for checking back. Now today's topic is a little weird and sounds a little different. I know some of you, I don't like that at all. That's bad. Let's try again. I don't like that at all. Are you going to give me a countdown?